Welcome back, everyone, to Stellheart, where this is this CM's worst nightmare. It's not because I have wonderful players, it's because I suck at talking. You're getting better, <laughs> Calvin. It's okay. You are getting better. This is helping you. This is helping. We're all here to help you. I, like the the end. I want to go to that quarter and cry. <laughs> no, By the end of the campaign, me. you'll be but speaking I... like an old British gentleman. You will be absolutely <laughs> fine. <laughs> oh my god, could you imagine a Calvin that like spoke fluently? That would be hysterical. <laughs> not, <laughs> not smoke like an old British man, just fluently. <clears throat> you know my players... Let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> Solid. Where we left off is they landed the ship. All the guests is fine. They're greeted by a new guard. They s discussed their plans and they decided to stay and help protect the citizens. They lost Lapis for a good while until Lapis came up behind one of them and says, Hey guys, I'm here. And Ollie is very concerned. I mean, I was. So, everybody is standing guard around the ship. The citizens are being taken care of from the uh, uh, the employees of the ship. You see the vice captain moving around between the floors outside. Make sure everything's <clears throat> good to go. Does anybody can do anything? I'm going to uh, take patrol along the upper decks of the ship, uh, along the edge that's facing the forest, and keep an eye out for anything approaching from the ground. I'm going to uh, right. patrol outside the ship. Just around it, not going too far at all. Just pretty much, like, I don't know, 10 feet away from the ship at most, but still around. Alright. I am having a immoral predicament. I'm in that situation where you're like, something bad has happened to me, but if I do something about it, it could only get worse. And oh. I'm like... I'm just like holding my cards and I'm like, I don't know if I even want to try. <laughs> Roll two d20s. <laughs> uh, I guess I'm gonna kind of go up to uh, where the captain's quarters was, the control center, and just kind of take a watch and have like an overwatch kind of outside. So just kind of watching around to see if anything's coming from aerial views. All right. A 13. A 13. And? A two. And a two, you say. Mm -hmm. uh, Am I dead? <laughs> I, no. I'm just going to be trying to keep attention, and or rather the tension of the group kind of uh, low, so that way I'm going to be doing some like performing just to try to qualm the kids or anyone that might have some stress. Uh, roll for performance and Sark while you're trying to focus out and think about your cards to see if you lost your touch you felt something wet on your shoulder and a particular on friendly smell as well and when you turn around look at your shoulder you see a squirrel <laughs> Um, hi, little one. Uh, I like, I like take a ration and break a little bit off and I like, I grind it up so it's like nice and small little pieces for him and just hold my hand up to him. <laughs> the search starts to get a little bit more stronger. <laughs> you shit on my coat. <laughs> As he starts eating the food that you offered him. <laughs> I, uh, I lead him down to the ground and I put like the food in a nice little pile. I take two steps back, grab my cards, 
<laughs> He's going to try it on see, the squirrel. <laughs> I don't see if I can throw some cards, some magical cards at the squirrel. <laughs> where are you doing this? Where, where, where are your current your location is right now? Uh, you, like the troll, right? Yeah, like I'm, I'm outside the ship on the ground. So anywhere that I'm not in danger to like, you know, potentially burn the ship. All right, so you were like probably 30 feet away from the ship, doing your own business. Lapis, uh, you, you see Sark off doing his own business, and he, you just see him, food, he put something on the ground, and a squirrel just came after it. Uh, Opal, you're looking, you're in the control room, and you see have full view of the sky, and you have no view what's going on with Sark, so you're just basically looking one direction with open skies in the control room while uh, you see three of the crewmates on the ground laying and vault I guess you you're out uh, you're in top deck right mm-hmm you probably could see this too you could you probably see uh <clears throat> lapis and Sark outside and you can hear uh, clicking inside the ship. Tire where you roll? Uh, 25. 25. You hear a rhythm of clicking inside the ship? But Sark, roll to hit. <laughs> Uh, because I am now level 5, I throw two cards at the same time. <laughs> Poor squirrel! Uh, that is a 22 and a 23 to hit. Even if they weren't magical, you killed the squirrel. Like... <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, one is green and does poison damage, the other is violet and does psychic damage. Uh... That is that is fifteen points of damage. <laughs> oh my god, that squirrel! You you throw your cards, and those two cards change colors, and hit, hit hits the squirrel. He became fire, but he's not reacting to it. But it looks like he's like nothing's happening to him. At all, he's just standing there, continue eating. You may or may not make him rethink his he's on fire. But in a minute pass, he fell over. Not moving. Yeah. Just Good. <laughs> no. uh, Lapis <laughs> You saw sorry throw two cards <laughs> at the squirrel. <laughs> while eating, and this girl was ignited on fire, and didn't run away. Instead, <laughs> just stood there, um, and then fell I, over. I better keep my distance from Sir. <laughs> bad, bad Seems like the type of guy when he was young, he probably tortured animals. <laughs> <laughs> Report this to. Pull, pull leg <laughs> From my sleeve, I draw another card and use it to press the digitation and get the shit off my shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> you could have done it to begin with. You. I snap my head backwards and look at Lapis. <laughs> the moment you did that, you felt a large crack in your neck. Oh no! Oh, no. I did nothing. <laughs> nothing that wasn't necessary. I continue just walking along the outside of the boat. <laughs> While uh, you're walking. Without breaking eye contact. <laughs> you you want to break eye contact with uh, Lapis. Wait, so the reason you have to go. Every time you watch your back, your head hurts. So you're stuck in this <laughs> position where you look at him. And it's walking. I walk towards him. <laughs> Fix me. we <laughs> <laughs> really fucked you up. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's right in front of you, Lapis. And 
this awkward position. The squirrel yes. is still there. See what I'm I can not, do? I'm not an animal murderer, I must clarify. He shit on me, and I needed to know if my cards had any magic left in them. <laughs> I think there was better ways than killing that squirrel, but... I disagree. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, just hold still. I'm not really good at this, but I'll give it a try. Don't, don't scratch me. Just fix me. <laughs> Roll. <laughs> you, you're gonna try to fix his neck, right? Yeah. Roll a sl uh, what was it a sly hands? Oh whoa, that's something I'm good at. I think. Well, not oh, okay. Not for still, that's still. I'm gonna pickpocket your neck straight. No, <laughs> I have oh. nothing. <laughs> 18. You grab his head and you move, gently uh, move it a bit like this. In this direction. Then <laughs> straight forward. <gasps> Sorry. See about my head fatality. <laughs> Finish him. <laughs> Sorry, you feel like your necks feel better now. You have full rotation. Before. Until the next time this happens, <laughs> I just next time. I just look straight forward. I don't deviate at all, and I just slowly walk away. Oh, okay, you slowly walk away. I Thank you myself. for the help. Oh, okay, I was about to whisper to myself, "You're welcome." But okay, <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Not even a thank you. <laughs> God, what a carrot. <laughs> so you walked away from him. Vault. Saying thank you, I guess, or you did. No, I, I yelled <laughs> thank you to him. Okay, you I, yelled I'm thank not you. A Karen. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I just go back to patrol after he left. I said thank you. <laughs> so, anybody else do anything other than performing uh, and ensuring that the box of rifles is there? Uh. Do you want to send me the, the? I guess I'll practice like doing um, uh, like the military grade um, oh. spinning and swirling of the gun and the rifle, like the uh, oh my god, the baton officers. Throws? Yeah, like a baton throw, except it's like the officers. I, I, I took a rifle too. Just the. <laughs> yeah, that's just baton throwing. Is it just baton <laughs> throwing? Okay, I don't know what I it's called. That's what it's called. Okay. But, yeah, I'm gonna I take a rifle, that. and I take some bullets, and I'm gonna practice with it. I'm gonna learn bullets. how to use a gun. I will not be giving you bullets. <laughs> oh. Then was it in a... I thought it was all in a pile, you said. I kept the blanks. ammunition on me. Oh. So what do, you, what do you do with the guns, Tyler? I put them, like, I put... Well, other than carrying one on me, um, I left the box with the antennas, and then the rifles just stacked around it. Up inside the ship. And you just grab a rifle, right? Yeah, I kept one of them. The one that right. didn't prefer, preferably the one that didn't spit out gunk when I went to fire it last time. Uh, all right. <laughs> Where are you practicing? I'm just practicing. Uh, I guess spitting it and using it. Where? As an Where? Outside. Somewhere. Outside. Yeah, I don't want to hurt a kid by, like, actually slapping him in the face with the thing. Alright. Nah, dude, you're... totally. Rifle bash a child. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we're gonna practice behind the ship, next to the hill. Uh, roll for a performance. Okay. With disadvantage. Okay, because I'm learning. <laughs> Where's my 50 20? There it is. Uh, okay. 19. My team? Yeah. Rolled 10. You, you pra- Okay. You're, you're practicing. Your march. Your baton pot pass. You feel like you got the hang of this? You think you got a routine down? You see Lapis came by holding a gun as well. Getting away. Doing. Guessing my gun doesn't have ammo in it, Calvin. 
You don't know. Your character doesn't know. Oh, okay, well... I'm just gonna set up a, a target, then. On a rock. And then I'm just gonna try to aim at it and take a shot. It's just one of those joke rifles where you shoot it and then it just has a flag pop out and it says <laughs> pew inside. <laughs> uh, bro... You just grab something random, right? Yeah, Those like, I'll just get a rock or something. Roll a d20. I don't... Yeah, roll a d20. Oh don't add anything to it. Don't kill me either, please. <laughs> I'd be rather terse with you if you did. Uh, 13. Opal. Volt. You hear... A gunshot. And the direction came like close to the ship, or behind, somewhere like behind of the ship. Lapis, when you pull the trigger, uh, I guess you gotta make a make a quick strength throw. Oh wow, sixteen. You felt a little recoil of the gun. And you see the tar your target uh, explode in pieces because I'm assuming you shoot a rock, a small yeah. rock. Yeah. And a uh, little smoke coming out of the gun. Oh, I'm pretty good with this. <laughs> Did you hit the target? So, yeah. Opal, Bolt, where you can. You guys heard a gunshot. Uh, I guess since I'm kind of above everything, I'm going to look around where I heard the gunshot and see what happened. Uh, so, I... Hmm? You, if you're in the control room, the only thing you can see is the front of the ship. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. Uh, I'm going to trust that the people on the ground are dealing with it if it's something bad. I'm just going to kind of keep an eye out and about. I want to make my way across the top deck to look over and see what happened. Uh, you see uh, Lapis holding a gun, and you see the vice captain and two employees walking uh, at his direction. I'm gonna chuckle to myself and uh, go back on my patrol. <laughs> uh, Allie, you heard this gunshot. Oh, there. I mean, he was right next to me. She was right next to me, so... <laughs> then, you see, behind him, it's the vice captain and two employees walking. And the vice captain like, Hey, what's going on here? Nothing too serious. Calm yourself. I'm just practicing. Since these How? I can't be gun. calm. Like, I heard a gunshot. Calm down. I can't be calm. We're in a dangerous situation. Down. He's uh. Let me finish. He's... If you're so mad, let me finish. I can't be cautious. I I'm have telling to be cautious. you to calm down. How can I be there's calm no, in this situation no like this? You, there's no point in you being mad over this situation when I tell you to calm down. Everyone, relax. I'm practicing rifle working right now. And you told us by yourself. Time. Allie's with me. I am. She looks at you. I'm Very... supervising this to ensure the safety that this wasn't going to malfunction on the ship. We came out to test it. This was one that was damaged in the midst of the fighting, and I needed to ensure the safety of everyone that's on board. We didn't want it to misfire while there were possibly children or other people around. Roll for deception. All right. Uh... 27. 27? Yeah. Ooh-woo. Ooh. <laughs> Max ooh-wooed. Ooh-wooed. Ooh-woo. <laughs> Fine. Since you... I don't... I'll trust your word. I'm leaving one of my employees here. That's okay. That's fine. We're just I'm practicing, so wanna watch me practice. She pointed at the pers uh the person on her right. 
Oh, and play it in the ground. <laughs> uh, roll intelligence. Uh, I don't think I would know it because I don't think I, I don't see I ever met her. Uh, are you playing the her or the guard? Uh, her. <laughs> you met her. She's the vice captain and the person oh. who dra uh dragged your friends away. Oh yeah, her. Okay. Well, yeah, that one. <laughs> she walked away with the other please bunch of the citizens outside are very cautious she's gonna go talk you just, uh, Ollie you just saw, see her walking to them talking and you see the guard staying there watching Lapis closely that's fine Maybe without a proper warning next time, but with everyone using these weapons, <clears throat> I thought one of us should learn how to use them. And that's a good idea. I myself are also trying to learn, but um, given the circumstances, the fact that it has been less than twelve hours since they were attacked, although I guess most of them wouldn't know that they were attacked, right? Because they were asleep during oh. the whole thing. You explained but... everything to them. Right, we did explain everything to them. So, since it has been less than 12 hours since they've been attacked, I guess uh, letting off some loud sounds is not going to uh, help qualm them. And also, you left the their equipment out, too. You didn't hit them. She, go, she connected the dots. I'm gonna go and... Uh... You them. <laughs> I'm gonna go take those. Keep them with us. Yeah. Get clean. I'm gonna carry them in. I'm gonna basically tie uh, with some rope that I have. I'm gonna make like a, a rifle vest. <laughs> I, was, gonna... I was gonna say, we should just go find a crate and keep them in a crate. <laughs> yeah, maybe we'll do that. <laughs> probably a little bit, probably a bit more smart. <laughs> Look, I'm not exactly the smartest person. I was like, I have, I have armor of weapons. <laughs> My AC goes up. But if I'm uh, explode? no, but you gain a special effect if you do that, though. But it's I'm not, not going to tell you that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, just exploding on impact. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Bolt, you, you went back to your duties, but you saw all that happening. Plain away. Oh, yeah. I got to watch you guys get dressed down. It was funny. <laughs> and I got to watch somebody murder a fucking squirrel. Dude, this is a great day. I'm the one here who's lawful evil, but you guys are off. <laughs> Chaotic as all hell. <clears throat> Sam killing a squirrel. Being evil. <laughs> well, we just chill, out of I tell Ali, Ali that uh, Sarah killed a squirrel for some reason <laughs> out of nowhere. <laughs> yeah. Why? I didn't do anything bad. He killed a squirrel, though. Sorry, what are you doing? What are you uh, doing during this whole commotion? I maintaining watch, doing some creative shuffling techniques, uh, usual stuff. All right. <laughs> So, Ollie, Lapis, and a guard, what are you guys doing? Or not a guard, uh, employee. <laughs> <laughs> I guess, uh, since we are out here, I think uh, both of us could do it with a good rundown of looking over our, these rifles and trying to understand them comparing our not like compiling our intellect to possibly learn more about how to effectively use these all right okay. well i shot it so i can tell you about how that felt it i guess i can't really explain how it... hmm. i explained how the shooting of it worked how like how the recoil affected oh, it how since, much it... Uh, since you saw this too uh you saw Sark shot a pistol, but the recoil from that pistol was kind of strong and kind
kind of hit him in the face. <laughs> I wonder if you want to tell that to uh, Lapis or not. Right. They can no, have, you don't. Um, they can have some strong knockback. I'm sure that uh, you can ask Sark, Sarek about that. I think um, I already know because I shot it, you know? Well, yeah, but no, he, he was physically... Um, Mm. Should I? Uh, but, <laughs> Lapis, for your knowledge, sake, when you shot it, you felt you felt like the recoil wasn't that strong. Oh, he has small bullets. Either that, or he's that weak. One of two. Did you say that you were given powder on the side, so it's a uh, like a muzzle loading? Well, I've no. got a gram. I've got about a gram of uh, gunpowder. We can yeah. find out how these. Oh uh, well, where the bullets go to so, so it might be weird to ask but can I get around and maybe try to re restock it okay I won't sure. shoot it this time though yeah well, let's let's just look over it and see what what we can do with that is that okay with you uh, I'm looking over at the employee. Mr. Mr. slash Miss employee yeah I don't even know who they are Chris is my name Okay, Chris. We're we haven't exactly dealt with weaponry like this, um, us especially. So we're just going to survey it, make sure that nothing is wrong. Okay. We're not going to be firing it. We're just going to be looking over it and possibly learning more about it. <clears throat> All right. Okay. I'll let you investigate. Great. Thank you. I hand you a singular pellet of the ammunition. Oh, yeah, so how is the gun like? Like, what? What's the gun? At? What kind of rifle is it actually? It's a single bullet rifle. A bolt oh, action, yeah, okay. rifle, basically. Yeah. Okay. Well, are we talking a uh, muzzle loading, bolt action, or breech loaded? I think it's bolt action. Oh. So we, I don't need the powder then. Well, you well, would need powder for recharging shells if you wanted to reuse the shells that you have. Yeah. Oh, yeah, is it is it a shell, uh, bullet shells, or is it just balls? Be a bullet in the casing. Yeah, if you're if you're going to be using a uh, a bolt action format. Oh, 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 Conrad. Hmm? Both of you roll intelligence checks and see. <laughs> <laughs> They're not even there. <laughs> So what is the oh no? What is the talking... technological state of of this world? Like how how advanced are we here? Like we have airships, yeah. but like you have airships. How far? I guess. Let's see. Do we have like automobiles and stuff? Like are we that far ahead? Yes. Oh okay. You, see, you seen you seen the technology of this is like um almost advanced like our modern age in real life but maybe a little bit more so i guess the only question would be is this uh are the rounds cased or are they caseless rounds these are cases rounds okay so yeah you will need that powder but from here on out i'll leave it up to you guys um so do we need to make intelligence checks on these is that what you were saying or was that sarah and Bolt. You two need to make intelligence. <laughs> okay. They're giving me free information, and I just realized what's the fuck. Uh, nope. I can't allow this. Okay, um, gotcha. Well, uh, uh, so. Uh, 17! Oh, I was about to say, you got what I got? Uh, natural 20. Oh, no. I got I got 18 <laughs> minus 1. Alright, that's that's happiness right there. What is my Alright, I'll let you guys entertain. Team, that knowledge of information that was given to you. Yeah. Would but that... you don't. Uh, without. How to operate it. Okay. Do we know how to load it? Somewhat, because you saw a bandit reload it, but not. F you didn't watch it fully. We're going to be spending some time on this, I feel. As I look over at uh, Lapis with the pellet, just looking at it and looking at the rifle and just slamming it into it. Well, I'm just going to do what they did. <laughs> you guys got to spend time on this. Uh, roll, investigate. 
investigation with disadvantage. Oh boy. It's my investigation. That is... You got Jack of all trades, right? You got plus one to yeah. it if you don't have yeah. efficiency. Okay, not okay. bad. Oh, yeah, not bad. Uh, 15. 10. <laughs> I, I almost subtracted one, but I realized because of Jack of all trades, I'm, I get, I'm at a flat rate. So, you guys investigate Egon. You tried uh, different things. You guys avoid the trigger because you're afraid something might happen. <laughs> you stop uh, uh, Lapis, you stop Ollie looking down the barrel. Don't look down that. Because <laughs> you you might be afraid she might shoot herself. Yeah, I'll be fine. <laughs> and Lapis, you've somehow found a way to put a bullet in, in the gun. Uh, uh, oh, I did it. Oh, good job, good job. Oh, oh, oh. But you don't know any you're a little worry what's gonna happen next. You might trigger the the thing. Oh, uh, was that the bullet holder, right? The barrel. Uh, no, not not the barrel. Uh, it's like a little small container, or just where the gun, the small metal gunfire with the bullet is. Oh, uh, that would be the the shell. Yeah, yeah. We were talking specifically about the uh, the primer. But if these are casingless bullets, then they would have a separate uh, bullet and a charge of powder that would be loaded in after the bullet. Yeah, but it's a little, little different from uh, from that though, from real mm. world ones. Yeah. So. Well, but since uh, I'm just watching Lapis do this, because it'll probably do better for me to watch Lapis do it. I'm gonna give a, a quick little just and give you bardic inspiration. So you get a D8 to add to your next ability check. Same thing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, great. So I have a D6? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, like, you guys, you, get, you guys put the bullet in the gun and you look at each other. Give you guys thumbs up. Like, give it's signals like. We, we can continue doing this. We're doing good progress. <laughs> Roll Two investigation again, I guess. Another investigation? All right. Oh, Jordan, you fucking helped me so much. Just a straight investigation? Yep. 17. I got a six on your dice, Jordan. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I need it. 17. <laughs> You, at this point, you properly reloaded a single bullet into oh. the rifle. <laughs> They're learning. You think it worked? You think it worked? I think so. But again, Together, shooting it. Ape is yeah. strong. <laughs> Holding up a bundle of sticks. <laughs> <laughs> they figured out if they oh. grab it by the barrel, they could swing Does it like it, a pretty muddy. Does club. it have a strap on it, Calvin, <laughs> or it's just a? The gun itself. It's by it, itself. They have a strap. Okay, I'm gonna put the gun on me. I'll use this in the in emergency emergency situations. But until then, I'll keep it on me if you don't mind. No, I I totally agree. I'm gonna keep this one on me, and I'm going to attempt to recreate the same thing and reload just the bare bullet because we obviously haven't put any gunpowder in it. So I'm just gonna put the bare bullet in using the same technique that I watched last episode. Exactly. Can I investigate two different guns and like see if like uh, compare my gun to other guns, see if I can tell if it's one one's reloaded and one's not? Uh sure. Alright. So we're just checking uh we're just see what guns loaded and one's not. So try we, to at least. We can go over to other people. Yeah. While we're just looking at weapons. Yeah. I think it, the rest of them are just scouting. <laughs> They're looking out. They're not probably not doing anything. Yeah, I guess we're the only ones really doing something, something. All right. Well, this 
That's yeah. basically the entire thing that my plan is. Yeah. That, well, you can fast forward. All right. Fast forward about, I'll say, four Who's hours from now. Lapis, Vault, and Sark, you see a small object. Lapis or Opal? Opal. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, opal. Opal. I talking it in your ass. You see a, a small uh, figure in the sky. And, spoof, and you feel like the direction of the object is moving towards you. You know, that would be the ship, right? It gets bigger and bigger. Can we roll insight on it to see if we can see, or uh, yeah, just roll insight on it, see if we uh might be able to pick up a little bit more detail. Uh, sure. Even from a distance. This wouldn't be revenge for the Shadow Dragon and Lightbringers, right? <laughs> you wouldn't do that, right? <laughs> <clears throat> Forgot you threw that. Uh, Hey, hey, hey. 30, 20. Okay. 13. 13. 16. As the ship getting closer, you recognize that ship similar to the ship that you guys are currently protecting. Nice. All right. By... I'll say half an hour, the, the the rescue ship came, slowly descend, and the hatch opened up. And you see P, uh, employees in a person with his hands behind his back, walking out like, rescue has arrived. We're here to rescue all citizens Please aboard onto this new ship as we investigate this old ship. Make sure any harm is being done. We'll bring you back to Tosh Tashu in momentarily. Please enjoy your safety on this brand new uh, cruise. As he looks at his uh, employees and tell them, or point to the old cruise ship. Uh, ship. Volt's going to signal them down for a second. Uh, pardon me, gentlemen. Do be aware, there is an explosive device currently placed on the engine of the old ship. We're not exactly sure how to defuse it, so be safe, would you? Ah, uh, I see. Then he looked back to his old ship and shout, shout out, <clears throat> William! Get your ass in, in the cruise ship, now! William. Then you see a person with, like, a, two, uh, two boxes on his two hands and started to run to the your guys current uh no not current <laughs> old cruise ship yes sir <laughs> and you looked at the captain look uh, the new captain from the rescue ship looked at you vault and says thank you for the warning no oh, don't mention it after all it wouldn't be very polite to set you up into some sort of trap wouldn't it oh, yes <laughs> That does not but, sound but I see you kept guard around protecting the citizens, but I'll have my full report from my other employees pretty soon. But please, you must be like a little exhausted. Enjoy, enjoy yourself. As he suggest um uh, hand suggested you the path to to new cruise ship both of them will nod and take that path to the new cruise ship i'm just carrying the crate of rifles and the uh box with antenna on it thank you i just fall right behind her same <laughs> Opal also follows just kind of behind everyone <laughs> else, <though. laughs> Uh, okay. I'm just looking back behind. You found this new rescue ship almost similar to your cruise ship. So, 
Including the room with the door falling off. Uh, <laughs> yes, except for one, there's two. Oh. oh. <laughs> well, one is just a staple and two is too many, so. Uh, I can't fix the door, but I will pretend it doesn't exist. <laughs> That's how you solve all your problems. Good plan. Ignore it. Exactly. <laughs> ignore it until it gets worse, and even then ignore it there. <laughs> Everything so, is fine. <laughs> by, let's say, an hour 30 minutes, all the passengers gone to the ship. The checks on the cruise ship or the other employees that you guys gathered, they're probably finishing up. Some of the uh, workers uh, came back into the new airship and some of them went on the old cruise ship and you guys started to see both airship uh, ac uh, ascend up into the air and start moving forward hmm. maybe we didn't actually need to crash the ship I don't know the engine had a bullet hole in it and was smoking a bit Maybe they fixed it then. Not to mention the bomb. <laughs> yeah, I guess yeah, the bomb. I was say, yeah, the bomb. Well, to be fair, though, I'm pretty impressed. That means we crashed the ship so well that they didn't even have to do many repairs before it took off. Yeah. That's the three of us were on fire, though, I will point out. That was flawlessly <laughs> executed. Yeah. Absolutely. My master smiled on that performance. Concerned I'm by sure, what you mean I'm by sure that. Jasper would have been proud. <laughs> uh, what rooms are you guys in? One that has a solid door. The one furthest away from Sarek. <laughs> no, like... I'm just gonna be wandering around. <laughs> uh, okay. Let uh, me do something real quick then. I guess I'm not really in the room or in my room. I'm just kind of hanging out by the bar. <laughs> Oh yes, I could go for a drink. <laughs> Grabbing a drink after the after rough, that. <laughs> after true. the rough landing and everything. I don't blame you. Yeah, it'd be nice to actually wind down on the ship and actually relax on a cruise ship. <laughs> yeah. So Just all you guys are at the yeah. bar, right? Yes. Yeah. To get that chalky milky. Oh, wow. Chalky milk. <laughs> the bartender offers you drinks wherever you guys want. Um, at your service, while you guys are taking a drink, you notice the ca the new captain uh, approach you guys behind you. Like, <clears throat> hello there again. Hello. Hello. Let me give you my proper introduction. How did I do this? I am Captain McCaptainface of the Captain Boat. <laughs> Number to that, by the way. Not, not, not exactly. Wait, what? I am ambiguous captain you'll never see again. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know that. Never see you again <clears throat> was quite the surname. <laughs> My name is yeah. Golf Northstar. And I'm the CEO of this cruise ship business. Okay. And I heard reports from my uh, employees what happened. And I'd like to give you guys a proper reward right now. Oh. So he hands you uh, vol he hands you a bag of coins, ten gold coins in the bag. Oh, you <laughs> offer you. really piece of shit. <laughs> he, op he offers that and mm. said, and the service here in our, my cruise ship will be free of charge. And I would like you to enjoy in our very special room. One of the VIP rooms for our honored guests here. Ah. Uh. You are truly too kind, Volt's gonna say, and also, uh, kind of hastily shove 
Which of you guys is standing closest to me? Probably would be next to you. Sark. All right, I'm gonna Sark. hastily, <laughs> I'm gonna hastily shove the bag of coins into uh, your pocket, then, Tyler. Mm. Okay. Oh, make, make a slide of hand then. Oh no, I'm not being <laughs> stealthy. He's blatantly. Oh, I'm, I am blatantly oh. shoving the coin. I'm like, oh, thank you, Captain. And in my flourish of my hands, I'm gonna just pop, 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 shove the coins into his pocket. <laughs> I don't friggin' want them. Um, <laughs> I have little need for this. Just, yeah. Uh, are we all staying in the VIP room or just Volt? All you guys. I heard from our place that. All you guys protected the citizens and uh, landed the ship safely for them. Indeed, I'm offering to all you guys. Time on the floor. Wait, sorry, I didn't catch that. What? Nothing, What's nothing going? at all, good sir. <laughs> we are very pleased to be offered such a gracious gift. And he sent a message to uh, to Ali, like. Are you going to tell him the time you guys got hold up in the brig because you were suspicious? I wasn't held up in the brig. <laughs> I wasn't even a part of that. Oh, I sent a message to Thurk instead. No. You're going to tell him about the time you got hold up in the bridge? <laughs> when were you guys sent to the brig? No. This is not the time. Volt, he just suggested the bartender behind him, this like, uh, single of raving his hand, and he bows to you guys and to say, I must get back to work. Is this but please same, enjoy. Is this the same guy that uh, got off the ship to come speak to us? Yes. Can I can I roll an insight check to see if he's being honest? I don't know why I'm getting a strange sense. Sure. On which part? Uh, on on uh, the uh, the like the sanctity of this ship, or, like, whether or not he's actually being earnest about his words of us rescuing the people. Or if he's trying to, like, put on an act. If he's just I trying to hold us all into Mr. one Nordster. room so that we can, yeah, hold us all into one room so he can gas us and kill us in our sleep. Well, that, not specifically that. This is more so, <laughs> I, <laughs> that's an extreme level of it. <laughs> oh, Discord's Mr. North Star would never hurt us, right? Let's have an insight. I'll say make an intelligence check. Okay. <laughs> I'll have you know. <laughs> Four. Nice. Tax on him. You heard his name before. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I wonder from where. Okay. From newspapers. From this huge num five star cruise ship business. He is the CEO of that business. Oh. All right. Well, you know, his name is Golf Northstar. Yep. I'm going to mark that down on my handy dandy book. <laughs> <laughs> like that's an important contact I have for later. Uh, <clears throat> but, okay. Yeah, no. He, oh, totally legit. What I was thinking. <laughs> it was more so. The reason I did that was because I was fearful that the reason why they were able to like quote unquote disarm the bomb is because they knew how to disarm the bomb. I don't know. That was just my thoughts. Oh, I was thinking they probably knew how to disarm it because this isn't the first time they've run into that same bomb. If they've been getting attacked by bandits for a while now, they might not be changing up which pipe bomb they use to blow up engines. Hey, hey there you go. I'll give you inspiration dice for that. Oh, hey, cool. Yeah. Nice. Look at that. Can I have one? Nice. <laughs> Me too. CEO of five star. I won't ask. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get node. But he walks away. He walks upstairs, and. The rest of you guys probably know where he's going to be at. Anybody's going to do anything? Your surface is probably 100% free now. I want to go check out that VIP room. See what it is hey. we're going to be dining in. 
I'm gonna go check a look around the ship and see what we can do around the ship. Since no, we could do I'm, anything for free. I'm kind of curious as well uh, with uh, Volt, so I'm gonna go and follow Volt. I'm uh, I'm gonna ask for like a bottle of whiskey from the bar. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. he, he doesn't hesitate. He off. He gives you the cup, little ice, and he pours it right there. And he left <laughs> no, you're like, the main ball next to it too. Just give me just just the bottle. bottle. Just, just take the bottle. <laughs> like here's your glass. I'm here for the, I'm having the bottle. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> uh, I need to take a piece of ice though and start chewing it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fifteen. Fifteen. All right. So you take the bottle, and what you can drink all of it at the at your chair, or I'll I'll follow the other people going to go check out our uh, our VIP room. And I was going to you VIP. you follow them behind, and when you get up to halfway the staircase, you kind of slipped yourself, and uh, you crash your bottle <laughs> on the stairs. It's okay, they've got another one. <laughs> I mean, it was on the house. <laughs> While just witnessing that, I'm going to hastily leave uh, in <laughs> search to see if they possibly have a stage. <laughs> Insert yourself on the schedule again. <laughs> yep. <laughs> that might be my plan. <laughs> but I know you're planning. And I, gotta I think just wanted to have a bottle of whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I wanted. I cleaned just myself up. Bad luck, you can't even get You're on drunk. the stairs like, no, no, you're just trying to pick up the you can. I clean myself up with prestidigitation. I light a cigar from my backup case because my main case is fucking gone. And I go back and I get a bottle of rye instead. It, he looks, the bartender looks at you like, what Ready? happened? And, and you ask for, don't ask. Give me a bottle uh, raw, right? Right. Right. Then he went uh, under his counter. He grabs the bottle and gives to you. Thank you. I cradle it like a baby. <laughs> I just oh, like, another detour. <laughs> stay away. <laughs> Jordan, you're not the DM, so. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> so, you guys go upstairs, and where are you guys gonna go? You, you three, or you know where your room is? Three. I'm going around the ship. I'm looking around. I'm not going to the room. <laughs> yeah, the three of them: Volt, Opal, and Sarek. Oh, I thought no, I thought Sarek was uh, drinking. He's no? following them with the drink. That's where I took the bottle. <laughs> and he caught up to them because they're thinking, which way is the VIP room? Does this ship have a similar layout to the other ship? Uh, you get the feeling, yes. It has so... a similar layout. Oh, were we given any kind of key or access to the VIP room? Uh, yes, he gave you a key. Does that key have any uh, room number on it so we don't just go barging into random people's rooms? Uh, no. <laughs> I've done that once and I don't recommend strangely. it. Strangely. <laughs> Same, I listened in on one. <laughs> well, Lapis, you found a piece of paper on the ground. It's a bomb. <laughs> don't trust it. And you pick up the piece of paper. You see a number on it. 105. Oh. They probably don't know about this. Hmm. I'll let them figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> Such a dick. So you three searching the VIP room. So with the uh, with the knowledge of the previous layout of the boat, uh, I believe it was up the steps, and if you take a hard 180 and follow the hallway back towards the aft section of the ship, that was where the VIP section was, correct? Yes. So I want to try and retrace those steps and see if it leads us into a VIP section like on the other ship. <laughs> when you got to the back, you see five doors with stars on it. Hmm. Why right. can't this be easy? Why, <laughs> do these, Why is uh, everything so hard? <laughs> do the stars have numbers on them at all? Yeah. 101, 102, 103, 104, 105. 
All right, well, gonna go to start at 101 and just work our way down and try to use the key on each door until we get a door that works. <laughs> <laughs> what if it works on all of them? Well, then the ship has terrible security. If they have one VIP key, what kind of crazy orgies do they usually do on these ships, man? Oh, my... <laughs> oh don't Sally, worry. You don't hear I... any. Oh, God. <laughs> don't... You don't hear any of that. <laughs> Anybody do can this. go to anyone's room. <laughs> but you did find your room. You tried all the doors. And 105 buzzed your door. Check out our OnlyFans. Ooh, woo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you get to see feet pics in this. <laughs> see feet pics and listen to us talk about naughty thing. <laughs> you think we're bad here? Don't forget about the knees. Oh, yeah, the knees. Ooh. Oh, Ooh. oh, the knees. oh. oh, oh yeah, I'm wearing uh, sweats, so. I can't <laughs> jeans. Pull them up and show us the knee. Yes. <laughs> Gotta tease it in. We're done with this. Done with this. Show us your knees. Your knees. Facing the job. That's the DM's knees. But boy, no. Not your butt. Back to Cellhart. When you open the VIP room 105, you inside the room you found a small table. Two chairs at each end, two be fancy beds, uh, a small, uh, looks like a, a small uh, dresser next to a window, and the window is like uh, almost full view of the outside. You see a couch on the other end of the room, and you see a little chandelier hanging above the table where the two chairs are. I think this is a nice pretty, pretty decent room. Oh, I you like see it. another, and when you look around, you see another door. Um, next to the couch, and when you open it, you see a full established bathroom. Hmm. Is That's there like nice. a like a like a small bar here, like in the room? Oh, like a mini bar. When you look at the small dresser next to the window, and you poke around it. This is, there's a, a different variety of alcohol here, and including the one that you dropped earlier. Nice. We got a wet dresser in here. <laughs> <clears throat> this table is perfectly sized to play office and cubicles on. So that's the VIP room. And there's only two beds, correct? Two or double beds. Size beds. Mm. One of us doesn't sleep. That's fine. <laughs> it's true. I, uh, I I park myself on the couch, kick my legs up, and I enjoy my rye and my cigar. <laughs> uh, the moment you uh, clean your cigar, you accidentally place it on the dresser on top of the dresser, and you realize. Uh, what's those things called? Ashtrays. Ashtray is on the table. Hi. Gizmo. Gizmo in your lap. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you can see. Yeah, yes. <gasps> it's like right below the camera. Just bring him up to your shoulder. <laughs> the boy. Ladies and oh gentlemen, God. the mascot of the stream. He's so oh, chunky. He's so chunky. Father, please. I require pets. <laughs> Father, the head, not the butt. Please. Father, rub my belly, but only three times. I'm playing times. with my tail. <laughs> Continuing on. So, sorry. This is the rest of the stream. <laughs> do you care or do not care? I, I wipe the ash off the dresser. I'm not a savage. <laughs> Yet. And then I just I position the the ashtray near me. All right, you're kicking back with your scar in one hand and your alcohol in the other, and the uh, <laughs> vaults, uh, 
point of view, like, this is probably the best moment you had in your lifetime. Hmm. Usually I just stand underneath streetlights to make sure nobody mugs me while I get my rest in. <laughs> Do you drink? Jeez. <laughs> Could I interest you in some liquor? Hmm? You me? To drink. Yes. Uh, it wouldn't do much. I'm afraid I lack a tongue for taste and a, a central nervous system to be inebriated. Would you want to drink anyway? For Absolutely. <laughs> All right. I uh, I just hand you another bottle from the bar. <laughs> right. uh, I'm going to set up at the table then, uh, unpack my scribe's equipment and the journal of what did I name him again? Uh, Lord Pendragon of Adumbria, and set to work transcribing uh, bits and pieces of the journal onto scrap pieces of parchment while I sip on my drink. All right. You start to write down in your journal and take little sips, and you feel the alcohol going through your wooden body. Some kind of slip out a bit, but unnoticed. You'll clean it up later. <laughs> you want anything to drink there, Miss Opal? Uh, you know, I might as well. She looks in the fridge and sees if there's anything fruity just to drink. Anything and, uh... Fruity. A saucer <laughs> of strawberry milk, perhaps? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you found, like, a small box of... Yeah, you found a small box that has a picture of an apple on it. And, uh, yes. and when you look at you look around the other selection, you realize most of these uh other alcohol section is very hard liquor, and they probably had this on the side just for uh helping uh help helping hangovers a bit. Just grab uh, like the lemon gin or something; you'll be fine. Yeah, I might as well. So she'll just grab the gin, and she'll just kind of sit across on one of the beds cross-legged and sets her stuff down. This is nice. <laughs> you lay on your bed. You, you took a sip of your drink. And took a deep breath. And like... Amazed, like, you got this room. She doesn't get to relax often, so this is like the first time in a while she's relaxed. And she's like, this is nice. This is great. Awesome. <laughs> so, Ollie... You found the staging room, I'll say, because it's almost similar to the other crews, but probably a little bigger. Nice. But you, got, you found the staging room, doors open, and uh, you see that some of the employees are playing uh, instruments on on the stage. You see some people sitting, listening uh, their music. Uh, excuse me, is there like a personnel that's supposed to manage the performers or performances uh who you talk to <laughs> i'm just saying that to the open room uh you you say this in the open room kind of interrupting their music a bit then the person next to the stage in the back that looks like next to the door next to the stage and like uh, Noah stew and start walk up to you like can I help you sorry didn't mean to, didn't mean to interrupt I uh, thought somebody would be closer to talk to didn't mean to uh, mess with anybody's performance I was just curious if you had an open slot for any performing acts uh are you an entertainer I am I'm a member of the bluebirds guild as well Right. Uh, let me go check to see you. Uh, and just yeah, just wait here. I'll be back. Okay. And she run. She runs off, and she went almost the same direction. Uh, you found the cl the first uh, scheduling. This is almost. Like you still, you still have the keys. I still have the keys? Oh, wait, no, I gave those... No, I do still have those keys, don't I? 
<laughs> yep, we, we look, grab behind, and you're like, oh, they're right behind me. <laughs> hmm, I wonder if they still work. I do have my hat of attire. But do you have your ID? <laughs> I can make one myself. I have prestidigitation as well. <laughs> the person, the employee that you talked to came back holding a clipboard and she showed you the times like, uh, we have one opening uh, for today at uh, 10 p.m. Great. I would love to be able to perform. All right. Uh, what's your name? Alejandra Stardew. Alejandra Stardew. Uh, what will you be performing? Uh, dance. Dance? Dance. All right. We'll announce uh, uh, your performance before you start, so just page, patiently wait, and she walked back. Thank you. And I will leave. I will. I will just make way to the VIP room after that. I suppose. <laughs> All right. That's another thing. So, well, kind of. We'll get back to you. <laughs> Lapis, you looking around? What are you doing exactly? Just seeing if there's like anything to do since really on the last year we didn't really look around. We were just looking for dangerous stuff. I want to see what there's activities you could do. I guess. Uh, you got the in the middle of the ship. You got the anything uh, level because you got the theater on one side, the middle where uh, the bar and the lobby is, and the other side, you got the gaming room, where you see a pool table, darts, over there. And when you walk downstairs, you see the kitchen area. You can order your food, and dine on the table is right there. And next to the engine room, you see a familiar uh, door leading to the engine room. There's a sign saying employees only then the other side you just see another door that says storage in the other room just a blank door I think to myself like I hope there's no bomb in this engine room <laughs> why would you say that <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say it I thought it <laughs> why would you even think it I mean from the last shift after seeing the engine room and you didn't Not go to the top floor because you got the feeling that it's just the living quarters. You know what? I'll go. I'll go to the game room and play some darts. All I'll right. My dart throwing skills be better roll. than than Ollie. Roll to hit. <laughs> oh, just just a plain twenty. Uh. Add your decks. Okay. Oh. I actually don't know. Are rogues proficient with darts? I uh, imagine. I mean, I'm also a bard too. Like, well, you what's, what's your starting thing? I mean, I don't know. Would be all simple weapons, surely, wouldn't it? Probably. I think so. Yeah. But, you know, it's just just roll. Besides, it's not it's not a very high AC well, yeah. unless you're high. aiming and running a 19. certain area. Then nineteen. <laughs> Damn. Eh. Yeah, you're, I guess you're, I do this. I do this for hours. You're, you're perfect. <laughs> for hours. I do this for hours. Wow. Okay. <laughs> so oh, life, that's dude. a way to pass time. <laughs> I, was, I was supposed to make a point system for you, Jordan, but <laughs> never mind. That's hours. Yeah, don't so, don't even bother. Apparently, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not gonna bother with that. I was gonna find a place to practice with the gun, but there was no shooting range. So I was like, okay, I just a, a shooting, shooting range, range on a ship. Cruise ship? <laughs> oh man, yeah. I love it when they've got demolition derbies on top of sea cruises. You My know that, favorite you know that cruises thing. Cruises have shooting ranges. Some do. Okay, little background. Those are much 
much bigger cruise ship. This is probably the smallest cruise ship you can take. I feel like it's expecting uh, our apartment Arnold. complex to have a bowling alley. Yeah, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's down the it's just down the halls. You gotta oh, line up your right. own pins, but. You, you just stack up old people in the hallways and you just hope you... <laughs> oh, my ankle. So then we're going to go to Ollie. Ollie, <laughs> you go to your VIP room. But I don't know which room it is. <laughs> you don't know which room. I'm going to start knocking from doors 101 oh, to no. 105. <laughs> 101. Nothing. Come back to that one. 102. Who is that? <laughs> what did they sound so terrified? Oh, crap. Sorry. <laughs> wrong, wrong room. <laughs> Nothing. 103. I'll come back to this one as well. I'll avoid two. One, three, got it. <laughs> Door four. Nothing's happening. <laughs> Are these the VIP rooms? <laughs> Should I even check door five? Might as well. I know that rhythm anywhere. Grab these things. What do you want? <laughs> door opens, and you see a woman standing, and behind her, two children in a in a it a father figure. Can I help you? <laughs> are they are they peeking out a door for looking down the hallway? <laughs> the person who's assaulting their door. <laughs> I, is this not door one oh five? Yeah, this is one oh five, but I, there's another one oh five on the other end of the ship. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't realize that there was uh <laughs> What have... a weird numbering convention. I'm sorry to have disturbed you. Two, um, 105. Just know that I'm going to be performing at 10 o'clock, and I would love it to see you there. And, um, <laughs> and I scurry oh, away. Always be repping. <laughs> oh, no. Before you do that, roll a perception with disadvantage. A perception with disadvantage. Not perception, persuasion. Oh, persuasion. Well, that's much better than perception. Always be oh, repping. Oh, no. <laughs> Maybe I've swayed them with my accidental talking to them. Uh, well, let me check my persuasion. Plus six. This is disadvantage. Oh! Remember that. Yep. No, I know. I rolled a 15 and a 12. So an 18. All right. They were confused a bit, but all right. Close the door. <laughs> you, got, you got the feeling like they're going to show up. Yes. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> So and now Captain, I go you to want to the actual yet? VIP room, the ones with the five stars. You see five. You see doors. You see stars. And you see numbers on them. Oh, okay, great, great. This is probably where I need to be. I start from doors one to five, <laughs> and I, I just knock. <laughs> one on one. Can I help you? Is okay. No, this is not the fight <laughs> room. My apologies. On to the next. I'm just fucking sliding down the wall. <laughs> just <laughs> if I see someone I don't recognize, I just skip it. Although I will give a I will give a uh, <laughs> a minor speech to give them uh, the idea that I'm gonna be performing at ten o'clock. So I would great. Hey, what five o'clock? If, uh, huh? if they were if they were there for it, because it's going to be quite a show. And roll, would... roll for pers uh, persuasion again with this advantage. Do I need to roll that four times or just this once? Sixteen. It's progressively right. getting worse. One o two. Nothing. Great. One o three. Can I help you? Oh, I'm sorry. He's... Didn't mean to disturb you. This is the wrong room. Um, if you would like, though, I am going to be performing a little bit later tonight at 10 o'clock. Um, 
if you need help getting there, I will be more than happy to escort you as well. <laughs> oh, yes, 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 yes. You come by later. <laughs> roll, per roll persuasion. Okay. Disadvantage. Come by later. Ooh. Wow. I'm wasting all of my rolls on these, by the way. I got a natural 20 and a 19. So 25. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait for combat when it's like 3, 7. Uh, but 25. <laughs> 104. <laughs> Opens up. You see a little kid there. Can I help Mommy? you? Uh, sorry. This Mother. Is one room. Is, one of <laughs> Mother. Your... is someone taking care of you? Or are you just kind of off on your own right now? My parents are out for the moment. They told me to stay here and wait. Okay, well, you keep doing that. You're doing an amazing job. The child right, thank you. black vial onto the and ground. And if you would like to do something box. fun, I do. Uh, I am going to be performing <laughs> at 10 o'clock. <laughs> she's doing something bad, I can tell. I worked with her long <laughs> enough to know when she's up to something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm building a crowd, shut up. Uh... She, you see the little kid ba walk back and close the door? My parents told me, don't, don't talk to strangers. That is a good policy. I move on <laughs> to the next door. <laughs> for the love of God, please be the room that I'm looking for. I'm getting really embarrassed. Well, hell, what in tarnation's going on out there? <laughs> I leave. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you leave. You're like, where the hell is this VIP room? I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here. <laughs> you're like, you, I'm just you gonna run go off the door. Stage. <laughs> you, you, you went back to your old previous room that you had before. Oh right, the yeah. VIP. Your... I'm not family. I'm not family. In the meantime, that's been like almost an hour. So <laughs> lapis. You decided to go back to the room then. Have... You I see think... Ollie think... running around. Uh, running back to her room. Like that? Yes, like that. <laughs> Might be letting the cat out. So... Hi. Are you gonna follow her? Wait for him to come back. Sorry, Gizmo was sitting <laughs> the door. Stabbed you and you died. Oh. Are you sure? Probably. 69 points of damage. Uh, I'm, I'm not dead, but I did get I did get downed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna ask you that. Um, oh, have you did you get back from the rooms? How was it? I don't know where that is. It's VIP I spoke room to many people, but not the people I was looking for. Our room is VIP room number five. Did you not check it? Of one hundred five, VIP room one hundred five. Oh, I thought there was rooms five or one to one hundred and five. Um. I did, but it was a sultry man. You sure that that's our room? I mean, I found this piece of paper that said it's our room. I mean, it's just a piece of paper. Couldn't that be for anyone? No, that was... They came from the from the guy. He just dropped it before handing us the key. I'll go check. <laughs> I go to VIP room number five, 105. I'll follow. <laughs> and I'll knock. Good heavens, who is it now? <laughs> Do I dissuade them again? <laughs> if you could show up without wearing pants, you fleshy things seem to hate not having pants on. Alright, I take off my pants, but keep my, my tidy whities on, and I just uh, keep my coat on, and I like walk up to the door. Wolf's <laughs> kind of like, whoa, nope. I whisper I back at Ollie. What? I didn't hear a single Wait, thing. Oh, Your mouth moved, but no audio came out. I whisper, this is definitely our room. <laughs> Roll. There's not a sultry L4 man. whisper. <laughs> I mean, I mean, Jordan, your stealth shouldn't be shitty. It should be pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Just roll Just in case. Just roll. High number. High number. High, okay. He... Whisper, go under. He whispered to you. <laughs> <laughs> Can you open the door? 
I uh, I lock the chain thing. I stick my leg like in the corner. So like when I open the door, they'll see my leg. I open it just enough. The chain catches it. And I'm like, whale, hail. The more you guys see this. Was that you earlier? Wait, who's who's in front? In front probably would have been Lapis. Lapis, you see the door open. And you see this leg coming around the door. And you, you hear this voice. Is it shit? Wheel hail. I, I, I grab one of my cat claws and I just give it a little scratch. <laughs> <laughs> I slam the door. <laughs> Roll a dex to see if your hand doesn't get caught. Oh. Where's my dex? Uh, I don't think it matters. It's 10. Your finger got caught in the door. You hear a cat screech? That might be them. Yes. I put my pants back on. <laughs> and I let them in. <laughs> so, you unchained the door. No. Your finger got on least. Unchained the door. The door finger opens the to door. you two. You see Sark walking back to the uh, couch. Put his pants on. And you see anybody else. <laughs> Uh, you see Opal laying on the bed, drinking, and you see uh, Volt on the table, writing, and seeing liquid come uh, dripping out his body a bit. His pants off? Question mark? <laughs> no, well, I'm still okay. wearing my pants. Okay. Nice yeah, of you two to finally show up. I, I, was, I was scouring the place for this for this room. I played darts for hours. <laughs> roll, a D, roll a d20, see how good you throw the darts. For overall. Uh, at, oh, overall. Uh, please roll shitty for after all those hours. Six. I played darts for hours. Oh my god. I played darts for six hours. Uh, I'm the moment you throw that 19, and you have my... I got this. I got this. And the moment at the end of the hour, you keep... Hitting low numbers. <laughs> All you've been hitting, like a one, a five, a three, yeah. another five, yeah. another one, yeah. a one. Oh, the not... kid's like, "Mommy, I want to." He's like, "No, I'm not done." You're not as good as me. <laughs> <laughs> but and, you can fire a gun. Don't worry. Yeah, you didn't. You didn't. You didn't do really well. You accidentally hit the wall a couple times. Good thing it's free. Otherwise, we might have to pay for those darts. <laughs> Are you guys in the VIP room? Yes. <sighs> I think at this point, we just enjoy our time here. I do have a performance at 10 o'clock, though. Mm. Mm. Um, Maybe this time we can actually sorry. enjoy it. Mm. I would love to come and see your performance without the bomb, but uh, this journal... I do need to make some progress on it. No, that I get it. I was only saying that that's the only thing that I have, uh, time timeline wise, that I have a duty to do. So ah, I understand. Otherwise, uh, we can just enjoy our time here. Okay. So, uh, how are y'all holding up? Like we've been through a lot. Fine. Have we? I, my finger hurts. <laughs> Ollie, the moment Volt finished talking about his journal, something came to your mind. Like, you might need to write a report for oh. these two. Shoot, I do have a... Well, I won't be enjoying it as much. I'll be having to fill out some paperwork then. I have to shake my, like, 50 pages of 8.5 by 11. My report. <laughs> Where's your report, Allie? <laughs> I, I have been busy. <laughs> you basically it's have laughing. a notepad fill of these two. Sark. And you see, like, the little metal thing that connects them? It's about to, it's about to come off. It's, That's why I keep one of those. been worked so hard. That's why I keep one of those industrial, or well, office, uh, like those clips, those like black clip things. The alligator oh. clips? Yeah. 
You, you try and look for it in your pockets, in your bag. So we just you can't find it. <laughs> you know what? You know what? I would just, I would just not carry anything else on me. Oh, no. it's probably easier that way. Are you, going, are you going to alley and throw your stuff in her bag? <laughs> I can carry it for you. It won't get lost. I've got no way to keep it, so... Take it. Take it. Just take it. Oh, God. Well, uh... I will write out my report <sighs> while, um... I'm just waiting, I suppose. Ugh. Waiting until 10 o'clock. Alright. What's everyone else doing? Drinking. Drinking. Just drinking. <laughs> Journal. <laughs> Journal. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, like, writing, drinking, 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 writing. Journal. <laughs> Alright. Time passes. Lynn. Roll me a d20. How much more of my shit is gone, huh? <laughs> With a three, probably all of it. Oh, no. Your deck is gone. Rip. <laughs> Guess I'm out of the campaign. Bye. Oh, no. Yeah, at that point, you really would be. Yeah, that would be <laughs> My knife will not carry me. <laughs> yeah, while you're having this conversation with Ali, and you try to remember back, have you ever lose a card before? Or your deck? No. No. And, and you're like, all the bad luck you have, your deck, for some reason, never get lost to you, for some reason. Lost in the sense that if I put a card down, it comes back to me like the coin, or lost in the sense that it does never disappear? <laughs> it never disappeared from you before. Well, unlike, I'll, unlike the coin that comes back, this is just stuck with you. Any of you want to play poker? Sure, All right, you and me. Well. Us three, let's do it. <laughs> are we, are we actually gonna... <laughs> we're not we're not actually playing poker on stream, right? Just yeah. just roll a D twenty. <laughs> okay, for the love of God, let's not pull what we did in the Great God's War before we no, started that was recording. Fun. That was uh, I mercilessly cheat as well, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Roll two D twenties. <laughs> uh that is a nineteen. <laughs> are we, I'm guessing you're using one of your luck, so uh, no, I just keep extra cards in my sleeves and pockets. <laughs> Incredible. Uh, since you have officially, I'll have you advantage on, uh, slight hand, so keep the 19 then. Uh, 19 plus, uh, be 24 then, total. Alright, 24. Is it just a straight roll for, uh, whoever's playing? Yeah. Oh. Well, I can't beat that. Uh, that's an 18. <laughs> Five. <laughs> Lapis, somehow you lost. Uh, I fought yeah. on turn one. <laughs> <laughs> How much gold do you have? I'm not even gonna do gambling. Gambling? We're not gambling. We're just playing poker. <laughs> All right. You had the most loss out of the th uh, three of you. Out of your three and, chips. And you keep seeing uh, Sark winning for some reason. He's a what can I say? I'm just really good at this. Fulfum is gonna spit a quiet curse in deep speech. <laughs> I heard that. I heard you over there. I see the air getting darker in the corner. <laughs> all right, while well, time passed and this going on, you you see the clock on the wall, and it's almost uh ten. Just writing feverishly, <laughs> and you hear. Ding bong bong. <laughs> That's I can't remember the fucking thing. <laughs> you mean that doom 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 doom? Yes. That sweet sweet elevator music. Ali Vandra, <laughs> please come to the staging area. Your performance is about to start soon. I shoot up and I sprint. <laughs> How much you actually got done? Uh, I don't know. What do you want me to do for that? Roll. <laughs> How long would it take percentile. me? Roll a d10. D10. 
Oh yeah. boy. Is this gonna determine how many pages I finished? No, I'm thinking of, like a percentage wise. Oh. Yeah, I was just gonna say roll percentile dice, let's find out exactly. I'm not touching it, I'm just gonna lift it up. I got a nine. Don't know if you can see that. <laughs> <laughs> you are nine percent done. Your report. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! <laughs> like that one episode hours. of SpongeBob where he spends hours writing the word "da." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Actually, that's something I'm going for too. And nine percent. <laughs> How many hours did I just do? Not oh, nine percent. <laughs> now I will roll, roll, roll you a percent on that then to say nine percent. Oh. Like, like, reference for Spongebob. Oh, okay. Well, I got... Barely got... <laughs> you got like, half these. a paper done. I bought them. Okay. But, um, when Walt well, looked at it, you're like, this needs more. But he will tell you later. But you're more an entertainer instead of a writer. Yeah, nice. So I'm you bolt to the staging area. <laughs> I guess everyone else is gonna stay in the room. <laughs> I'm tired. I ain't going out. <laughs> I'd rather keep fleecing these two with curds. <laughs> you filthy cheater. Alright. Make my own life. Holly, you got, got to the staging area. You see a, a crowd. Well, a full room. Yes. You see the same lady. You go up to her. She asks, do you need music? Because nope. we have some... Position. All right. Do you need anything? Well, I just, do you have any drums? Any drummers? Yeah, we do have drummers. That would be perfect, actually. Can I speak to them real quick? She opened the door behind her to the backstage. You walk in. You look. You went to this backstage. Unlike the other uh, old cruise ship, this one is more packed. And you see a lot more instruments, a lot more entertaining stuff. Like, you can see, like, almost like you can have a full circus with all these stuff in here. But you see a couple people back there. You see the person, uh, the employee walked up to one of the musicians, talked to them. And one of them comes to you, like, can I help you? Yeah, I'm going to be performing. My, I'm Alejandro Stardew. I'm going to be performing tonight. And, um... I was uh, informed that we have some uh, very talented uh, drummers on ship as well, and I would love it if you would be able to uh, keep a an upbeat uh, tempo, something that would help uh, enunciate steps. Like, what kind of drumming are we talking about? Like a full set of drums? The no, bass? just just no. just a, just a big bass, a big thick sound. He brings like a large, um, drum and a foot pedal like this. That would be perfect. All right. Guess I'm just going to press this then with my foot. Uh, All right. Could Where do you want that? me to set up? Uh, on the... You can set up on the stage. I mean, I wouldn't imagine it's much of a setup. Uh, we're on the stage. Towards the back corner, because I'm going to be moving a lot, so. Alright. He lifts it up and carries the foot, uh, stick. And, uh. And move it to the left corner of the backstage. I wrote down a bunch of stuff to do. Okay. Um. Peas. Okay. <laughs> yes, Calvin, peas. No, I'm just explaining him that when he goes on the stage, you see a kid eating peas. <laughs> <laughs> Like snap peas or just like the already deshelled peas? Uh, the deshelled peas. <laughs> just like a bag of frozen peas. Nah, he's got like a can of Jolly Green Giant and he's just slurping those things down with a spoon. 
And you know, if that's the same kid that uh, you bump into before. Oh, it's is it the one kid that didn't want? Uh... This kid's this fucked kid up. A, is this kid a stowaway? Does he have parents? But he's eating frozen peas. <laughs> But if you oh, bump no, into no. the kid, two, you see two adults next to him, though. Oh, okay. If, if you bump God. into the kid, does the kid say, taste the penis by any chance? Wait, what? In, in his mouth, he says, Rush us. You can't say that. No, it's a P. It's not a P. You have a mouthful, Tyler. <laughs> you can't say it's... that either, Calvin. <laughs> He's... Just I'm just Calvin's going to weird turn. I'm just gonna go out and perform. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Come on, dude. It's just a child. Just so... <laughs> it's an innocent child. You give the drummer a cue, and the drummer's like, "Doom, doom, doom, doom." Uh. Okay, I'll give him like a sign to speed up a little bit, and uh, he'll hit. I'll I'll trust that he'll pick up the tune. The drummer starts. To match your rhythm more and more. The crowd's dead silence, hearing the sounds of the drum and the clicking from your shoes. Roll of performance oh. at advantage. Yay. Uh, 24. You did a stunning performance. And you finish off. The crowd stands up and give you applause. <clears throat> that was your performance. Yeah. I mean, Are you gonna charm anybody? No, I'm not gonna. I don't need to. These are all <laughs> pe kind people. The only reason I did it before was in case we got into a scrap. I don't need it's to do it. But you want more fans, don't you not? Well, they only last for an hour. And you I still recognize that uh, scout over there in the back the scout oh he's god not. he's here oh i forgot about him <laughs> the guy that almost choked uh sarah out. <laughs> yeah, the, the weirdo <laughs> so whoa those two can have a good conversation <laughs> uh we're gonna speed up time <laughs> uh, roll persuasion also... oh god okay. roll persuasion if you want to try to get out i'm gonna i'm gonna try to get out who natural one? Oh, I'm wow. not getting out of this conversation. And we never saw her again. <laughs> she was abducted after this yeah, day. Time passed, and natural. the four of you in the VIP room, uh, a little wondering where Ollie is, because her performance should be done a long time ago, but for some reason, she's not back yet. And when she came, she came back now, Looking very exhausted and a little, little disappointed. And when you ask her what happened, she got uh, a, a special audition to perform at Tashu with the scout. So he has to go with more uh, details with the agency. It's a lot of work. A lot Time passes. Oh, I couldn't work on my report either. <laughs> That's due tomorrow. <laughs> I'll 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 stay up tonight to crunch through the rest of it. <laughs> You're only nine percent done. <laughs> no, don't worry. <laughs> if you start to fall asleep, I'll jab you hard in the side. Okay. So, where's everybody sleeping except for Vault and probably Ollie? Yep. <laughs> well, that means one of us is gonna have a bed all to themselves. Because if there's only two doubles. Somebody's gonna have to double up. I'll right, just get I'll sleep up. on the sofa. Fun by me. <laughs> That's, I'm all right with that. All right, you guys. You two got your own beds. Lapis got the couch. 
Bolt. Platypus just doesn't sleep like a person. He sleeps like an actual cat, just curls up in a ball. <laughs> Wait, Platypus do the same thing, you know? but Bolt, you seen this the first time? You're like, that's a, a human-sized cat sleeps. <laughs> First See, time you've I, ever seen it. I wasn't wrong to say that he's just planning on sneaking off and dying alone in a corner. <laughs> of the two of these, he's definitely the more feline. He, he would be the one to go, I agree. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Don't let him drink too much, he'll vomit in your shoes. I keep them on. <laughs> uh, you want to call it back? Make a... <sighs> A concentration check. <laughs> so a concentration check, so a con saving throw. Yeah. Ten. Could I uh could I help to give advantage on this? Sure. There you go. You see all I ten. <laughs> I wow. Got the, I got the same roll. <laughs> I got two nines. Okay, this is going to be a little bit longer than I expected it would be. So, you see her writing, but you see her head slowly dozing off. You pat, mm -hmm. you slap her in the back. She wakes up, and she continues to write. Roll another constitution. I'm just, gonna, I'm just not going to blink. With advantage, you said? Yeah, because Bolt's going to help you, I guess. Yeah, so... every single time you're about to fall asleep, I use a minor illusion to make another terrifying thing happen around you. Uh, eight. The first roll was a natural one. <laughs> Woof. <laughs> Remember when I said that I was going to burn through my good rolls in the other rooms? So, eight. So, you slam your head on the ground on the table, got up, and in front of you see this <laughs> creature. <laughs> uh, what creature are you making? Oh. Uh, a mind flare. You see this mini mind flare right there in front of you on top of the table. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm laughing too much of the... <laughs> The slam right. your head down, look up, see a creature. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Lynn, I'm playing games like this now. Oh, God. <laughs> it's a look, Jin, dude. Is that it's you? kind of a look. I didn't. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. Maybe. What is that? <laughs> what is that thing? Oh, yes, I suppose you wouldn't be as familiar with aberrants. Uh, here, let's try this. And I'm just going to switch it to a, a bunch of spiders on your arm. Oh. I mean... Are they the cute ones? <laughs> no. Damn it. Oh, no, they're no, the hideous ones. No, I'm gonna step away from my desk. I almost just pushed my table. <laughs> that would have been a problem. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there, so... get yourself a glass of water or something, and then come back. Grab yourself a water. Come back. Grab your uh, pen. Tap it on the paper. So writing, roll, uh, roll another concentration. This one's seventeen. I got better that time. You making good progress on your paper now? You're, you're so close on finishing it. Roll another concentration. Nineteen. You finished it, oh. and you knocked out there. <laughs> Vault, you grab the paper, and you just like, it's complete. But are you willing to read it? Yeah, I'll uh, I'll set down my journal for a bit and switch over, read what she's written. She wrote in like, uh, a last minute person who barely passed, uh, their assignment. I'm it, filling sentences with, like, fake words to make them look longer. <laughs> it looks like a bunch of words being stalled out on certain things. 
uh, there's it's been more written about uh, Opal than Lapis. The absolute atrocity that happened to procure in the time frame of us being within the ship was one that I myself personally could not have atoned and properly understood at the time that these two were once a part of the ship. <laughs> Just not even coherent sentences. <laughs> you can you can make can all the I... sentences are trying to, like they're similar to make a sentence, but it's like choppy bit. <laughs> can I uh can I pull out a couple extra pages and fix the worst of the pages that he's written? Just yeah, so, sure. Just so you, that you she can... won't she won't fucking fail this assignment. Uh, give me a sly hand so you can copy her handwriting. Hmm. Uh, Are you dexterous? Check to make sure I am dexterous. I just don't have sleight of hand. Oh. So all I'm adding is the modifier. But... <laughs> Hot damn! Aren't you fucking lucky? It's a 19. Oh my god! You roll. Sure. You, you you trace her letterings a bit, and you feel like you got the hang of it, and you start writing in her words. And when you look at it, it looks like much better than hers. I'm going to uh, crumple up her terrible pages and eat them so they will never be found again. And then uh -oh. slip my good pages in there <laughs> and slide it back <laughs> underneath her cheek. Alright. You slide it under her. You swallow the cr uh, her old paper and you just feel it uh, going to your stomach. But the alcohol in your stomach is still there a bit so it's Dissolving a little bit, I guess. This is weird. No, no, no. Full of yep. Soggy yeah, paper. That's, that's the goal. Yeah, All so right. it's, it's dissolving a bit. I'm just imagining Bender from Futurama. Yeah, it's, <laughs> that's basically what happens. It goes inside, it gets absorbed by the plant matter as it rots, and then there you go. I get energy. Well, it was Not Bender energy when you had to go downgrade and on the island. All right, so. We will make them understand our peaceful ways through force. <laughs> it's now morning, because I'm assuming you're not going to do anything else, right, Volt? Nope, back to my journal until morning. Alright, it's morning. Lapis, Opal, Sark, you wake up. Allie, you still sleep on the table. Mm -hmm. Did she, uh, did she finish her assignment? It took a bit of doing, but yes, she finally finished. Did Should she be drooling it? on it that much? You know, having gone through it, I'm pretty sure it won't make it much worse. <laughs> did you read? Under understood. Did you read her report? Yes, I did. Hmm. It gets a little bit drony by the end, but uh, for the most part, it paints the two of you in a positive light. Oh. Lovely to hear. A good thing, I guess. You hear the announcement Smith's bell, and you hear the captain speak. We'll be reaching Tashu here in about two hours. I hope you enjoy your stay on the ship, and I hope you come again to our service. And announcement ends. Bolt's gonna slide open a compartment on his arm to pack away his scribe's tools, and then, uh... Yeah, put the journal away and get ready. I scramble to put the sheets together. <laughs> uh, you put the effort in, so... Nicely done. So, anybody else doing for the last two hours? The... Besides land, you gotta roll a d20. <laughs> Why? What's happening now? Lightning 13. Strike the engine. 13? Alright. I spontaneously die. Power word kill was cast by an invisible creature nearby. That's oh, all shit. of us. That's all of us dead. No, you so, hit one target. You... With power word kill. 
Pope's divine word. <laughs> Two hours yeah. passed. We're all unconscious. You guys landed one of the air docks. You got out the cruise ship in, in your front of the uh, gates. This might be a good place to end because we're at uh, an hour and 50. No, I'm going to end it where you guys are staying in front of the guild building. Okay. Fair enough. And in front of the guild building, you see the door open. Uh, Lapis, Opal, when the door opens, you see two little creatures. <laughs> I Dude, swiftly point and I'm like, they cheated cards! <laughs> <laughs> that, and that's uh... where we ended there, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you enjoy my my session and my fears. But I hope you join us next time for tomorrow's uh time where we're doing it tomorrow. <laughs> Uh, are we doing Phoenix right, or are we doing something else tomorrow? I may or may not be around tomorrow, so then we'll do, do with that as you will. We will. It will either be Phoenix right or something else undetermined. There you have it, people. It's either Phoenix right or anything else in the universe. Universe. <laughs> universe. universe. What? I hope you enjoy this DM's worst nightmare. You're getting better, Calvin. You're doing good. Bye. Yeah. It's also Stella Heart. Oh wait, hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna raid somebody. Well, I'm still gonna say a chow anyway, because you did do it without even saying the papa and boo boo. Go boo boo. <laughs> yeah, you heard me. Go boo boo. Where's my website? There it is. Uh, let me. Who's on right now? Uh... You know what? I just started following these people. Katie roll, so they're doing some Minecraft. Wow. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Minecraft. Hell yeah. Do it. Hell yeah. Well, hey. <laughs> well, howdy. <laughs> well, howdy there. Doofish. <laughs> no, I'm Dirty Dan. No, I'm Dirty Dan. Which one of y'all is Dirty Dan? Alright, we're done. <laughs> I'm Dirty Dan. Who you call it, Pinhead? <laughs> I was waiting for Tornado to know the next line because I don't know it. <laughs>